Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about this. It's the Mobius camera. A few people have asked me to talk about this. This is the kind of successor to the keychain, you know, the little 808 keychain cameras. It's quite a bit more advanced. It's got a few extra features. The thing it does have that the keychain cameras didn't have is 1080p full HD video recording. Uh, unfortunately, it's only at 30 frames per second, not 120 or 60 like the GoPro, some of the GoPros offer. But I mean, for the size, for the weight, for the money, hey, this must be a good thing, mustn't it? So why don't we take a look at it? Now, I should say, for a start, if you want to look at a good review of the Mobius, go to Tecmo and I'll put a link in the bottom or the description of this video so you can go and have a look. Because I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, I'm not going to go through all the same things that he went through. I'm not going to show you all the little bits and pieces because you can get that somewhere else. What I'm going to do is look at how useful this is to people like yourself and me who fly RC planes and multi-rotors and so forth. Is it a practical camera for FPV? Is it a practical camera for recording those flights from a plane's perspective? Let's have a look and see. Let's look at some of the details that make the difference. So let's take a look at some of the options in this sort of part of the camera market. We've got the Hobby King Wing camera. Now this can do 10, 1080p as well as a 720p version and I believe a 1080p version. They're quite utilitarian. I know the 720p one I wasn't that impressed with it, um, but they work, they work. There's the little 808 keychain camera. Now this one, you know, it's got a big battery grafted onto the top of it because I haven't had much luck with the battery life in these things. They, you know, a few months and then the batteries don't hold much of a charge and even when they do, they don't last long. You don't get much video out of them. So this one, I grafted a much bigger battery on the top. It gives me the kind of battery life I want. Now, again, these are 720p. You can get them with a wider angle lens, but I find the narrower angle is actually better. They're a bit kudgy, these buttons here. They don't always work the way you'd expect them to. Oh, you know, they're, they're fine for what they are, and you know, they're not a bad price. Then you've got things like the uh, Horizon HD camera. This is the Foxtech Horizon HD, which has a separate camera, LCD screen, and menu buttons for changing the various options. And the things with these, although they take a micro SD card, they don't have their own power supply. Of course, you can get a little LiPo and graft it on the back, and then you've got something, but it's still a bit sort of loose and you know, not so easy to install on a model, you've got to do the different parts and you know, there are, there are times when this is beneficial and there are times when it's just a pain in the backside having all this stuff floating on wires. So then we get the Mobius and as you can see it's a fully self-contained unit. It has a little slot for a micro SD card in the back there. It has, these aren't buttons by the way, these are heat sinks because it runs pretty warm apparently. It has the Buttons has three buttons, which makes life much easier when you're trying to use it. You know, switching between modes and turning it off and on, very much easier than the old keychain camera. And up front here, we have a lens cover and a lens. Look at that, beautiful. That's so much better than the old setup. And you'll notice that there's actually not a lot of difference between the lens on that and the lens on this, because these use pretty much the same guts as the Horizon HD and, and the Boss Cam and the other five megapixel sensor cameras that are out there. So this sort of ties it all neatly into one package. It also has the option of a mount, what comes with a little mount like this, which you can actually put the mount on your model, or you can use the little adapter thing here, put it on a tripod, but I don't know why you'd use one of these on a tripod, because you can't see, unless you hook a monitor up to it, you can't see what it's pointing at. You know, it's all a bit bodgy, so this, you could, you could get several of these. You can buy these extra, put one on each model if you just want to move this between mod models, but hey, What's wrong with good old Velcro? Velcro does the job. Cheaper, easier, more ubiquitous. You know, you can get Velcro anywhere. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be putting Velcro on it. Now, from a model flying perspective, one thing that's really cool is that if you're going to put it on a mount, then it's going to be up this way. And if you're going to put it on the wing of a plane, it's going to be up that way. But if you're going to put it on a multi-rotor, it's probably going to go underneath, which means it will be upside down. So there's the ability to actually tell the camera, you want the picture turned upside down. So when you mount it upside down, the picture comes out the right way. That's kind of handy, that's kind of neat. It's not so much important if you're just using it to record video, to edit later and you know put on YouTube or something, but if you're going to use it as an FPV camera, then it is important because you don't want, and if the, if the image is upside down, you can't fly FPV unless you stand on your head, I suppose. But by having the ability to reverse the image in the camera before it comes out, that's bloody marvelous. And of course, you get these leads. Well, you don't always get these leads. I bought these leads. And these have a little micro or well, mini USB connector there. And then it gives you, you know, these horrible bulky audio, video, and power. Well, where is it? That's a, that's a standard, um, where's the power one? Oh, it gets power from a standard 
USB type connector. So yeah, but fortunately these are all just wired in with servo plugs. So you don't have to use these horrible big fat extension things here. You can just make your own little loom up, put your own little connectors on there, buy some servo leads and chop them up. And that'll give you access to video out, audio out and external power. So hey, that's that makes it much simpler if you're gonna use it as an FPV camera. And when you use it as FPV, you've got a choice of two outputs. You can use 16.9, if you, so that'll be the normal sort of like the, the high definition aspect ratio, or you can use 4.3, which is more common on the board cameras. So if you're using Fat Sharks or whatever, you probably want it in 4.3 image. In fact, any of the video glasses, you want it in 4.3 image because that's the, the image it's displayed in. Even with the new Sky Zone glasses, if you choose 16.9, I'm pretty sure it's going to look awful because it'll be even more squashed than it is because the 16.9 sort of, you know, it's wider than it is high. So that's a, sort of an overview of the, of the, of the Mobius and from a perspective of a model user. Let's see how practical it is to use it. Let's see what the results are like. And I'll do a bit of flying, a bit of filming, and I'll tell you what I think of it after I've had some time with this little baby. Okay, hopefully the this little bit of sun will make a difference. We can see how it looks with the decent bit of lighting here. The old Tokara airfield control tower. And there we go. So yeah, this is just to give you an idea of what you get for your money. Right, it's time to get airborne and here is the Mobius camera. I've put Velcro on the bottom. This is obviously the preferred way. If they come with that, as I say, they come with that little mount here, but meh, it's just extra weight, it's just extra complexity. You've got to, vel you've got to glue a Velcro that on anyway, so why not just Put a bit of Velcro on the bottom of your camera. Just a reminder, if you put the fluffy on the device that, you take, that you're putting on an off a battery or a camera or whatever, then if you drop that on the ground, it's not gonna hook up all the dirt and grass. The fluffy doesn't have nearly as much attraction to those bits of detritus as the hooks do. So try and remember, put the hooks on the plane and the fluffy on whatever you're taking off and on. So you don't end up with your Velcro on the camera or whatever, all full of rubbish. So there we go. And of course, mounting it is that simple. But one thing I've noticed, this is a downside of the Mobius when compared to the older keychain camera. Now with the old keychain camera, see there's a hole here. That hole enables you to put a piece of string or wire or something through the camera and mount it firmly on the plane because I have actually lost keychain cameras in the past when I've just used Velcro. Mid-air collision, boom, lost one. And I think another case, it was a um, an unintended landing in a um, fairly rugged area, camera bounced off, don't know where it ended up, because the Velcro is really good, but under a good shock it will, you know, the camera will depart from the model, so you really want to have some way of tying it to the, you know, some firm part of the model so you don't lose it. With the Mobius, uh, I'm afraid you don't have that, it's not there, you could probably glue something on, but then glue's not going to stick to this plastic very well, you could drill a hole or something, but uh, you, you don't really want to mess around ruin your camera with holes and things, so yeah, that's Probably the first downside, apart from the obvious size and weight issue, that I've noticed with the Mobius. But it's on the AXN. Let's take it out and do some flying, see what the aerial footage looks like. Okay, I'm going to give the plane to Barry now. Barry's going to fly the AXN to test out this new Mobius camera. Here you go, Barry.
That was good flying, Barry. You did really well, mate. Okay, so there it is, the Mobius camera. And yeah, I kind of like it. It's, I like the form factor. It's a lot easier to deal with than the little keychain because it's, it's square. You can put the Velcro and it sits flat on the bottom. So it sticks well onto whatever you're putting onto. Uh, it's got the lens cover, which protects your optics because to be honest, it's handy to have one of these just in your pocket if you're wandering around. Oh, my cell phone is an old, cudgy old thing. It doesn't have any of the fancy camera gadgets. So I use this instead. So wherever I am, I can take 1080p high res video. Brilliant, excellent. Um, it seems to perform, have you seen the footage? Make your own mind up what you think of the footage. Is it good enough for your application? I think, you know, this is commendably good. And for the price, I think I paid $67 for this one with the video lead. That's not a lot of money for a lot of performance. So, yep, I'm quite happy with these. Would I use them instead of the Boss Cam? Well, you know, or the, the, the Horizon HD? Well, each camera has its own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, this doesn't have an LCD screen, so unlike the Horizon HD, you can't make sure you've got everything framed properly. Uh, it's a bit... Uh, longer than the Boss Cam, so for example it probably wouldn't fit quite so easily in the front of my Caparina. So yeah, it just depends. Horses for courses. It's a good camera, the other two are quite good too. Uh, this, If I had to choose between all of them, however, I'd probably go for this one because it's more flexible with the built-in battery. It gives you that flexibility of being fully self-contained, slap it onto your model, go fly. You don't have to wire up a piece of cable to make the thing run. So yeah, if you've only got to buy one camera, for your model for recording high definition video from the air and you don't have a big budget, can't go wrong with this little baby. Brilliant. I give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comments on the bottom, questions on the bottom. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe to the channel because there's a whole lot more videos like this coming up really soon. Bye for now.